Now it is election night, so we begin where else but exactly where we want to go and we think America wants to go to the big board with NBC's NBC Steve Kornacki. Steve, take it away. All right, Ari. Well, as you say, inside of an hour, we're waiting for real votes between now and then. We've got the exit poll. We've got our first look at the electorate. Folks who went out and voted today also included in this exit poll. Folks who voted early, folks who voted by mail as well. A lot of different ways of voting these days. Let's take you through some of what we're seeing here. First of all, one of the central questions for the backdrop for this governor's race, President Biden. We've talked so much about how the party that controls the White House has struggled in Virginia governor's elections. What is Joe Biden's job approval rating with Virginia voters today? Right now, this is what we're seeing, a 43 percent approval rating for the president, upside down, 56 percent disapproved. That actually tracks pretty closely to what we saw nationally in our NBC poll that came out on the eve of the election. Nationally, we had Biden at 42. Today, the exit poll right now is putting him at 43 percent in Virginia. How about this one, though? Terry McAuliffe and the Democrats, they've been trying to make Donald Trump a front and center issue in this campaign, trying to attach Trump in voters' minds to Glenn Youngkin, the Republican. This is why they've been doing that. Here's voters' view of Donald Trump in Virginia. That is also extremely upside down. 41 percent favorable, 54 percent unfavorable. So is Trump going to be more of a weight on Youngkin or is Biden going to be more of a weight on McAuliffe? One of the questions we're going to get answered with the actual votes coming in. Also, opinion of the candidates themselves. Glenn Youngkin, the Republican, actually in our exit poll, clocking in over 50 percent in the favorable rating for him. That is better than Terry McAuliffe in this exit poll. He's clocking in at 44 percent favorable. I will note the one time that Terry McAuliffe got elected governor before, back in 2013, he did struggle with that favorable rating back then as well. He was able to overcome that in 13. We will see if he's able to overcome that in 21. Uh, and again, Ari, the countdown you can see right there inside of 57 minutes. I expect shortly after 7 o'clock, county officials have been telling us. They've changed the process a little bit this year for reporting out votes. This thing should really start to come to life and light up right when 7 o'clock rolls around. And your, your bottom line there, Steve, on the eggs, it's very interesting to get the favorables. They tell you something, but not everything. Yeah, that's right. And the other thing I caution on the exit poll is 5 o'clock we get our first look at it. There's going to be more data that's added to the exit poll. There are more interviews that are taking place as we speak that have been taking place. So more data is going to be added to that exit poll, I think, about 45 minutes from now. So the numbers I showed you could shift a little bit. That's one thing we're going to look at. But these exit polls, they kind of take shape in waves. Mm. So we'll get another look at about 645. And then, you know, 15 minutes after that, maybe we could toss the exit polls aside because we'll have real votes. Get to the real thing. Well, uh, a lot of insight and context. So we Thank you for that, Steve. Uh, and the only thing I ask is that you promise us, Steve, don't go anywhere. Yeah, I'm here. You don't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> Steve Kornacki at and near the big board at all times tonight.